Carpal tunnel view. People fall on an outstretched hand, they got a lot of pain down the bottom here, and really, if it's really painful, you might be, maybe they have a fracture down in there. You get traditional hand views, you don't see squat. Look at this view, it really shows the trapezium, the scaphoid tubercle, the hook of the handmate, and the pisiform. That's a really nice view. You'll pick up fractures if you ask for these. And it's really nice to know, because now they, because these can cause problems, right? This is making the carpal tunnel. So they might have median nerve problems down the road. This would be nice to know about. And so I find this view to be particularly useful. Here's another cute one, a clenched fist or a clenched pencil. Look at how it opened up the scapholunate dissociation in this patient. So this is a patient who we weren't sure if they had it, but when we did it, they definitely opened up. And you can do it without the pencil, the clenched fist, if you've got someone who's got tenderness in their first carpal row and you're wondering if they got a scapholunate dissociation and on your traditional views, it's not wider than three millimeter, but they're really tender there, get a clenched fist view.